very natural, very everyday, but still very glam at the same time. So we're going to start off with this tutorial and because this is like an everyday natural soft glam look I'm going to be filming using just my natural sunlight so that way we can get like a true representation in terms of the colors so before I start I'm just going to go in with my rose tonic from pixie and I'm going to be using this to just cleanse my face this has to be the first time on my channel that I'm filming with natural light i really want to see how this turns out compared to like my normal studio light and see which one actually looks better for beauty content so you guys can tell me you know which one looks better right so because this is like an everyday makeup look i'm going to be using this moisturizer from black opal it does have spf in it i'm going to be using this to moisturize my face now personally with me i love like a really hydrated face i'm gonna go in with the ColourPop rose cut and i'm gonna use this all over my face to just prime as well as hydrate my face all at the same time we just let this settle in so i'm gonna go in with the makeup revolution rose face right here and just spray this on the center of my face because this is where i usually get oily so my t-zone area Okay, so I currently have a new routine. I don't know if you guys have watched this video right here. This video where I tried copying Scott's band makeup technique. If you haven't, definitely do watch it after this video. I'm trying to make it as minimal as possible, but still have like enough coverage on my face. What I'm going to be doing now is to use three foundation shades, and I'm going to be doing three in one at the same time. So I'm going to be highlighting contouring and applying my foundation at the same time now i find that by doing this technique i tend to use less product so i'm going to go in with my highlight shade which i use um mauritania um these foundation sticks they're amazing okay so we're just going to get a dense brush and this is in the shade tunisia I'm going to use that shade that contour shade to just contour my face so we're just going to blend everything in now I know I do look a bit crazy so bear with me and definitely trust the process and with this you're using like a liquid foundation you probably only need like one pump or like a half pump to cover your entire face and to blend it all in trust me so i'm going to just take that's my foundation over here literally that amount this is basically one layer of foundation i'm just using different shades and with this instead of going in with one um, foundation shade and then going in with a highlight we're just limiting all that and going straight to the point now i'm really obsessed with cream foundations so just something about it that makes you look very useful and very organic like it just looks very skin like so i'm gonna go in with my concealer this is the revolutions um makeup conceal and hydrate concealer and it's in the shade 11.2 i'm gonna just apply that just underneath my eyes i'm going to just use a little bit and then we're gonna go in with that flat foundation brush just spread out that product So now this step is very optional i'm just doing this because i really want underneath my eyes to be highlighted so that's why i'm doing this okay so i'm gonna go in with my sponge just blend that all out Okay, so this is what we're looking like right now. Now to set down the highlighted areas, I'm going to be using this 
loose setting powder this one is from switch cosmetics and it's in the shade banana guys i have been loving loving this powder of lead this has probably been like one of the best powders i've ever used it is so like it's so much it's, it has been milled to perfection I'm going to be using a brow gel. I'm going to be using this one from Hair Guy and Esther in the shade Nubia. Take the amount I think I'm going to be needing and put that on top over here. Just so the product doesn't dry down quick. My eyes, I'm going to be using um, concealer to act as my eye base because we're not doing anything too much. We're just going very neutral and natural with this. So that's what we're looking like right now. Okay, so something I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be using my contour palette to both um, act as my eyeshadow and to act as my contour and highlight at the same time so now i'm going to go in with this contour shade right here and use that to just act as my transition and crease shade and i'm also connecting it to the beginning part of my brows I'm going to take our time to really blend this out So I'm still going to use that same brown shade under my lash line. So I'm going to use that same shade to just set my contour and to bronze my face up a bit. So I'm going to be applying brush and this one is from Tara and it's in the shade Amaria. Just a tiny bit and okay so for my lid shade this is totally optional but I'm gonna still be going in with that same contour palette just use the lighter highlight shade to just create like a really light tone and what I like to do is to take that shade and drag it down my nose like this connect it so that highlight we already did that way it opens up the eyes a lot more so we'll just drag that down like this and i'll show you the difference right now it just sort of opens up the eye can we see this eye right here compared to this one can we see the difference so that's what we're going to be doing i'm just going to dust off the excess product and just kind of like blend it in so that the lines are not too harsh but then you still have that highlights going on beautiful what i'm going to do now and this is totally optional is that i'm going to line my eyes using the same brow gel we use on our <laughs> using the same gel we use on our brows and i'm going to be using that to just um line my eyes a bit i'm using brown because i feel like brown just looks really natural on the eyes it's not as overpowering as black all right now i want to connect that brown down to my waterline so everything is just connected everything is just connected I'm gonna go ahead to just apply mascara on my lashes and then I'm gonna go ahead to also pop on a pair of lashes at the same time. And this one is from Zaron, it's the Zaron Volumizing Mascara. Now I'm gonna be applying my eyelashes. This is how almost natural looking they look. So 
So for my highlights, I'm going to be using the Artist Couture Highlighter in the shade Converti. And I do want a bit of a glow, but nothing too serious. See, I just want like a really soft, subtle, glam glow. So I'm going to go in with my face powder and I'm going to be using this all over my face just to set everything all down and to blend everything all in at the same time. And this one is from Switch Cosmetics in the shade, um, I don't know, but this is what it looks like. We're just going to dust off that excess powder. Alright, so now I want to lightly contour my nose. I'm going to be using this MAC Cosmetics um, Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW45. It's like a shade darker than me, so that way it will give like a very subtle contour. Just blend that in to that area right there. Can we see how soft that looks? So this way we have a really soft but still contoured chiseled nose. Let me see how soft that looks. All right guys, so this is what we are looking like right now. Very soft, a little bit matte, but I'm not mad at it. So I want to go ahead to just line my lips using a brown lip liner. You can use your hand to soften out the pencil to sort of like blend it out. I'm going to be using mainly two lip shades. I'm going to be using Belly There by Switch Cosmetics. You see how beautiful that shade is. So beautiful. I think I can actually just work with this shade and I'll be fine. This, I want to say, is like one of my favorite nude lip color. This shade right here, Belly There, Switch Cosmetics, is so beautiful. I can't even lie. As well as Blondie from Zaron as well and just put that on the center of my lip right here I'm gonna set everything all in with the Nuban Silit spray okay guys so this is a finished look this is what it looks like absolutely in love with it I feel like it's just so natural but still very snatched but still very enhanced but this is a finished look if you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know down in the comment section feel free to subscribe it is free also feel free to check out my other videos on makeup and transformation and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video definitely give me a thumbs up comment down in the comment section don't forget to share this video and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video so yeah let's go